Hello folks, this is Sula speaking, and welcome to part 3 of a Let's Play challenge for the original Legend of Zelda, one in which I do not use a sword. In the last part of the video, you saw me stumble through the Lost Woods, and eventually make it through to the other side, but more importantly, go through the first dungeon and manage to get the first piece of the Triforce. And when I pulled up the inventory screen a minute ago, uh, you might have seen that first piece. So, having conquered the first dungeon, our goal in this video is going to be to take on dungeon number two. I'm starting from the original starting point because at the end of the last video, I killed myself to save the game in old school NES style. That means that I only start with three hearts, so the first order of business will be to go to the fairy in the fountain and heal back up to full. It's very convenient that there's a fairy so close to the start, uh, probably delivered on the designers. Uh, so there we go, back up to full health again. And now on we go, on we go to the second dungeon. So let's see if I can manage to get there without getting hit. Alright, first we're going to go to the right. And notice that there's only a single blue Tektite here, only a single one of those spiders jumping around. I think I've mentioned this before, but if you leave just one enemy alive on screen, then um, wait, if you come back to that screen, there will just be one enemy there. So by wiping out that last guy, now the next time I come back to that screen, it'll be full of spiders again, full of Tektites. Um, and so uh, I'm not deliberately, you, what you can do is if there's a particularly difficult screen, you can just leave one guy alive and um, you know never kill that one guy and it'll be easier to get through. But uh, I'm not trying to do that, I'm just trying to go through as best I can. There I'm trying to burn the moblins, I'm hoping to get maybe a bomb drop would be nice, but uh, no such luck unfortunately. So let's try it again with this guy, can we get him? Yes, we did get the kill, but no bomb drop unfortunately. Alright, and I'm just going to burn that burn that first Octorok and keep going, and so here we are, level 2 right here. I'll try to get this guy, and know that there's a blue Octorok outside this dungeon, which is the game's little cue that this is a harder dungeon than the first one, because we've upgraded from red to blue. Alright, so here we go, level 2. The color of this dungeon is almost the same, it's a little bit darker blue, but it's pretty much the same. And so the main enemy you're going to be seeing a lot in this dungeon are these snakes. Their na official name is Ropes, but they look like snakes to me. And I don't know why I ran into that guy there, that was totally stupid. Uh, as usual, the main weapon is going to be the candle, the blue candle, which I can only use once per screen. So every time I use it, I have to back out of the screen and use it again. Now the AI on the ropes, the little snakes, is kind of interesting. If you are lined up on the same line as them, either horizontal or vertical, they will charge towards you. So like if I move over here, then they'll both charge towards me. So very simple, but surprisingly effective actually, uh, if they can come at you in large numbers. So here, he's going to charge me, and then I'll get two more. So pretty well done on that particular candle flame. Now there's just two left, and hopefully I can get them both going back in here. I'm going to try to stock up on as many keys as possible. Let's see, can I get this? Let's see, alright, this guy's going to charge me. And now he's going to charge me, and this guy's going to charge me. So anyway, I just burned one guy, and we'll have to come back to get the last guy. The clock that you see makes you invincible. Um, so as long as I have that, I can't be hurt. I can walk right through the enemies. I have to kill this guy in order to open up that shuttered door over on the left. So now I can go through. And the reason why I want to go over here is because there's a key in this room. See, there it is, just lying out in plain sight. Now let's see, I'm going to be able to get three of them in this that particular candle flame. Now there's three left. I there, I don't get anything by killing off the remaining three snakes, but, um, you know, it's sort of a completionist thing. Uh, I don't like leaving a room with a couple of them still alive. I'd rather go back and kill these guys. So let's see how many of these guys we can get. There's one, two, and there's just one left alive. But as I look at it, I am Link. I am a walking death machine. I am not going to allow this snake to survive. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to burn that snake to the ground. I don't care if I don't get anything. He is not getting away. All right. Anyway, the whole point of that was to pick up two keys. So now that I have two keys, I can move on to the next section. There's a locked door over to the right, but I believe that all that's over there is the compass, and I don't really need the compass because I know where the boss is. So, uh, we'll move forward. Here we have uh, these guys called Gorias, the guys that throw the boomerangs, and uh, you don't get anything for killing these guys, so I'm just going to walk on through. Uh, didn't do that area too well because I got hit twice by their boomerangs. So now we're back to more, uh, more ropes, more snakes. And I only un get one of them that time, unfortunately. So I uh, have to duck over here into this room and come back again for more flamey flame time with my blue candle. And yes, I'm able to kill all four of the others with a very well-placed uh, candle flame. And you can see the reason for that was so I could pick up a third key. So now we have three keys. 
In here, there's another room, this time with blue Gorias. These guys are especially tough. Now, I'm going to kill these guys because I'll get a, uh, a reward by killing them. Yeah, not a very good arrow there. This room is a little bit tougher because of all the little fireballs shooting around, but uh, with a little practice, you can dodge them. You'll see this a lot in later portions of the game, lots of these uh, uh, guys shooting fireballs. So I finish them off with my arrows, and I get the magic boomerang as a reward. So now I have a boomerang that can uh, that flies faster and can hit enemies on the other side of the screen. I went back to the candle there, and then that was kind of stupid because I remembered, oh yeah, I, I actually need bombs to advance to the next room, which is down here to the south. And why do I want to come here? Well, I guess I don't have to, but there's the map, and I always like getting the map. So you can see now the shape of this dungeon is a crescent moon. A lot of the dungeons look like uh, look like stuff in this game for whatever reason. I guess the designers are just having a little bit of fun. So uh, we grab the boomerang down there. Now I'm going to go back to bombs and I'm going to bomb this room to the top and head up into the next room in this direction. You can actually go through almost all of the rooms in this dungeon um, on, the, on the right side by bombing. In fact, I can bomb to the north again here. And so look, there's bombs on the ground, that's a nice little presence, now we're up to 7. And I'll fake out the traps and head into the next room on this side. Which is full of these, um, I think they're supposed to be like uh, snake-like monsters, but they look like little tongues of flame. So I'll do as much damage as I can with my, um, with my candle flame, and then I'll switch over to bombs. Now you might say, why are you using bombs, aren't you just wasting them? And I am. But the reason for that you'll see a little bit later on, it's because I'll get a drop of more bombs later on. And I figure, why waste arrows if I know um, if I know I'm going to get more bombs? Remember, at this point in time, there's a cap on how many bombs you can carry. You can only carry up to uh, eight of them at one point in time. So there's no point in having uh, more bombs than I can carry. So I, I, that's why I was just sort of wasting them there. All right, back to more snakes, back to more ropes. Uh, so that means it's time to break out the blue candle and kill them, as many as I can get. Although that was a rather poor flame, because I only got one of them. But we're down to four left, and I'll probably only need one or two more trips into and out of the room to get these guys down. I'm sure it's probably getting a little bit tiresome by now watching me walk in and out of the room over and over again, but what can I say? You've got to make some compromises when you're trying to do this game without a sword. And that's one of them. So I'm going to try to line them both up. I see I've got them both to chase onto that left-hand side, and then once they're both over there, I uh, get them to dash into a candle flame. So that was pretty pretty easily done. Now the door shuts behind me. I'm in a room with uh, no way out, which means I'm going to have to use my arrows to take down these Gorias. And if you notice, now they have magic boomerangs instead of the regular boomerang, and that's because I got the magic boomerang. Or maybe they had them before. I can't remember, but... Oh, if you can believe, I just fire an arrow at nothing, so what a waste, just threw away a rupee there. I'm going to take my time, and this guy's not getting away. Mmm, mmm, he is not getting away. And so look, there's uh, four more bombs, so now I'm up to the max of eight, which is why I was sort of wasting them before. Uh, so let's hit in against the boss, and as they say in Legend of Zelda CDI, it's time to bomb some Dodongos. Let's see, just got to line this guy up. We can get him and oh he's gonna walk to the left so let's feed him one bomb and then feed him another bomb and mm, that's it for him he's down going down uh pick up the heart container and uh yeah that's it we got another got another piece of the triforce so well done link just goes to show you you don't really need a sword in this game as long as you've got your bombs and your boomerang and your candle flame you're pretty good to go just need to manage those arrows all right so well done we're gonna move on, and uh, we're feeling pretty good here, so we'll go from uh, go from Dungeon 2. Let's try to go over to the next dungeon, Dungeon 3. Oh, I thought I could get that guy, but uh, that blue Octorok, is a little too smart. It's just not just gonna walk into the candle flame, apparently. All right, up. Oh, thought I could get past that guy, but they're blocking the exit pretty well here. Let's, let's wait for them to move past, and fortunately they do so, so Link's able to escape and get past to the right side. And, oh, almost got that guy. Love to get some more bombs here, be back up to the max of eight. But it uh, doesn't look like these guys are going to indulge me. But uh, we'll slip past them and keep going. Level three is off in the west, so we're going to have to walk over there. And, yes, more bombs. Uh, thank you for dropping those bombs, Mr. Moblin. The blue moblins are, are pretty well known in this game for having a high bomb drop rate. So if you ever need to farm up some bombs and you don't want to spend the money, they're the guys to go after. These, uh, these red Octroks, I don't think that they'll ever drop bombs. The blue ones, I think I've seen drop bombs before. I don't think I've ever seen the red ones drop them. Just uh, rupees and maybe the occasional fairy. 
have to look at the formal drop rates for these enemies. I don't have them memorized or anything like that. All right, let's keep continuing on here to the left. Burning another guy. <laughs> only one on screen there. And you can see there's only two guys here, so I've killed some people previously. Yay, my magic shield can block your fire. Doo -doo. All right. I admit that the journeying portions of this game are probably a little bit less exciting. Oh, I didn't get the fairy. What a waste. I should have gone back and gotten her. Seems like a waste to let her just fly away. All right, anyway, we're getting close to the next dungeon, which is down here and to the right. And I'm not sure why I got hit just to try to burn that guy. But uh, anyway, we're also getting close to the time limit of this video. I'm not going to be able to get in Dungeon 3 as well. So I'll stop here and pick up with Dungeon 3 next time in Part 4 of this series. Thanks for watching.